candidates making their final push before voters head to the polls tomorrow. Jeff Vaughn kicks off tonight's top 10 at 10 with more on their final stump. Jeff. Yeah, we talked with Mark Shower tonight. We met him here at this Plymouth coffee shop. He told me that tonight he was going to speak to those who are most important to his campaign, the undecided voter. Mark Shower stepping off his campaign RV in Plymouth, where he talked to undecided voters assembled at a Plymouth coffee shop. I'm going to talk to as many voters as I can until 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Democrat Shower and Republican incumbent Governor Rick Snyder are in a close race. A WXYZ poll taken last week shows Snyder up by only two points. Shower thinks he's made up the margin. At this point, it's a jump ball election and every vote matters. We need to move forward. The governor also talking to voters tonight as part of his comeback state bus tour. One of its stops, Livonia. It's a chance to get out and talk to the citizens. That's who we work for. Snyder didn't talk about the close race, but used his time to tell those gathered that Shower has been lying about his record. And I'm glad to get my record clear that I've increased education spending. Well, after that bus tour of the Metro today, Snyder ended his campaign today in Livonia. Uh, his campaign tells me he will start his day tomorrow, Election Day, in Ann Arbor at the ballot box. Live in Plymouth tonight, I'm Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News. All right, Jeff, thanks so much. And polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow. And there are a couple of things you need to know before you go out. First, no cameras inside voting precincts. That means no selfies. Also, don't take a picture of your ballot and post it online. If you're caught, your vote might not count. And finally, you'll be asked to show a photo ID at the polls. And if you don't have one, that's okay. You'll just need to sign an affidavit to verify your identity. And don't forget, 7 Action News and WXYZ.com are your sources for the midterm election. We'll have up-to-the-minute results on air and on our website, WXYZ.com. You can find your polling location and a sample of your ballot on our website as well.